Hey guys, how's it going? It's Trey XC about the Honkai Star Wars summoning video. Like so in today's video we're playing for Jing Liu, aka Emily, aka Monarch. So yeah, Jing Liu is a character I wanted for a while now, ever since her design first got leaked and now she's finally here was kinda crazy. I know a lot of guys are waiting for her as well. But I'm super excited to pull for her, so let's get right into it. They've already about like seven of the golden tickets as well as 4,300 of the Stellar Jades. I also have about like 8,000 of the paid things. I'm not sure what it's called still. Stupid. But yeah, Jing Liu's banner, the feature 4 stars is Ting Yun, which is great because I don't mind getting more of her because she's really good. And also there's Ching Ke or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce the name. And also Sampo. Ching Ke is actually really good. Like, especially when you get it to E6. See, I wouldn't mind getting more copies of her and Ting Yun. I don't really use Sampo, so I don't really care too much about him, but I don't mind getting more copies of him. That way I also get some more of the currency, or I can use to buy tickets and stuff. And Jing Liu also has her light cone as well. I think this light cone has been, like, nerfed a couple times. But yeah, I'm not sure how good this light cone is, but I'm not really going to be pulling for it. And I also have about 13 of the regular tickets, so if I remember, I do, like, one single multi here. I'm not even sure how far I am from the threshold, or whatever. I am 161 pulled in, oh my god. We got another 139 pulls left until we actually get to pick a 5 star. The only character we don't have is Gepard, Yang Qing, as well as Bailu. If I get the 300 threshold and I still don't have any of these characters, I'll probably go for Bailu because I need another healer. Bailu is probably like the best healer right now, I think. But I think in like the next patch, they're releasing a 5 star healer. I don't know too much about that character, like Ho Ho or something, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> but I think she's gonna be a really good healer as well. And let's get into it, so let's go. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna use this. Okay. Okay, hopefully I click this banner because of pulling. Hopefully you guys all pull Jing Liu if you guys are going for her. But yeah, Jing Liu is actually a really good DPS character. Especially an ice DPS character, which I don't really have any of. The only ice characters I really have is like March and Pela and like Herda, so yeah, like I'm lacking the ice character department, but there we go, I got Ting Yun Du. I think she's like E1 now. I'm not sure how good she is when it comes to her Eidolons. I don't know what I should be going for. But I'm pretty sure all characters are really good at E6, so we're aiming for E6. Okay, Jing Liu, I believe, is like S rank across the board when it comes to like her tier list ranking, I guess. And also, she's a really good ice DPS. I think she does like a lot of damage, so I'm super excited to get her. Because I'm like lacking in not even just the ice department, but like damage in general. I think the only DPS character I really have is like, I'm not even sure Kafka really counts as a DPS. I guess Sila. I think Sila is still the best DPS character, but. Yeah, I don't really have a good AoE DPS. Oh, there we go. Chinka. Okay, so we'll take that. I think she's like E1 or something like that, but yeah, we need five more to get an E6 where she becomes like a god. <laughs> so yeah, I've been seeing people do a lot of damage with her. It's crazy. But I think we run her with a mono quantum team. So yeah, I don't think mono teams are really that great in this game. I think you kind of want a rainbow team. The enemies kind of have different weaknesses and you kind of want to build a team that kind of covers everything I guess. So mono teams aren't really that great. Maybe in like the MOC. Oh there we go. We got another Chinka, so we'll take that. Kinda hope to get some more four star light cones as well. But I'd rather get more dupes of characters rather than four star light cones in my opinion. But hey I'll take both. Like right there we got like four star light cones. I'm not sure how many pulls in we are in this banner. I think we did like three multi. I think this is some previous summon on Fushian's banner. I don't know how many total pulls I'm in in the limited banner but I guess we'll find out. I think I did like 30 before, so I think we're gonna pull 60. I could be wrong. I don't know. So we're close to the soft bay. So this is maybe pull 70. Oh my god, I decided spending these things. Or Neric Shard, that's what it's called. Like, I'm not gonna remember that. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong, but and we use some of this paid stuff. But as before, hope you guys all have good luck in this banner. Hope you guys all win your 50-50s, or if you guys guaranteed, then you guys don't really need luck. But they're kind of killing me with the last couple of banners. The last banner, as well as the next two banners in this patch, are characters I really want. Yeah, like, I'm going broke in this game. But I really hope that at some point, they kind of slow down on the new characters and kind of give us some time to save up. Right now, the game is new, so they're kind of releasing a whole bunch of new characters. But once it gets to the point where the game's like a little bit older, it'll start rerunning characters and kind of slow down on the new characters. Kind of like Genshin Impact, they kind of slow down on the new characters and more so focusing on reruns. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping for that eventually. Maybe like version 2.0, they might finally stop with all these new characters back to back to back. Okay, so this might be whole 80, I think. So this should be the soft pity. Okay, let's see if we get Jing Lu in this one. I really want to save these paid stuff because I want to use it to buy skins in the future. But yeah, unfortunately, I got to spend them. Alright, let's see. This might be quality. Yeah, this quality episode. Let's see if we get Jing Liu here. I'm so excited, man. I've been waiting so long for her to come out, and I can't wait to try her out and see how much damage you can do and stuff like that. And not only that, but I also have an ice DPS character. Because, my god. <laughs> I've been struggling when it comes to any enemy that has like an ice weakness. The only ice character they built was like March, and she's not really a DPS character. She barely does any damage, so. 
Yeah, I'm super excited to finally get a actual ice DPS cast if I can't get it, you know. But let's go. Oh, it's over here. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We got Jing Liu, so that is awesome. Look at her art though. That was amazing. And her design looks really cool as well. I kind of wish that you can take off her blindfold. I know that in her ultimate, she can take off her blindfold, but I will gonna chink up. We'll take that. Yo, I think she's like E3 probably right now, or E4. So we're close, actually. Part of me wants to keep summoning on this banner to get more copies of her. Oh, we're gonna think. Wow, this banner has been so nice to me. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Uh, there we go. We got Jing Liu. That is awesome. And if you guys haven't watched my last summoning video on Fuxian, you guys will know I lost a 50-52 Clara in Fuxian's banner. So, yeah, this is my guarantee right over here. I didn't want to say it was my guarantee because that way it will kind of spoil the video. But then you guys will know that I get Jinglu and it won't be as hype. That's why I didn't say I was in my guaranteed in the beginning of this video. But if you guys watched my Fuxian video, you guys will know. So, only the OGs will know. But regardless, I kind of skipped Fuxian for... Jing Liu, so hopefully she lives up to the hype that everybody says she is. Because Fu Xian is actually a really good character, and I'm kind of sad I missed out on her because I'm kind of lacking in like tank characters and defense characters. So, yeah, I feel like Fu Xian probably would have been a little bit better for my account. But personally, I like Jing Liu's design more as well as Topaz. It's why I kind of skipped out on Fu Xian because I want to save my currency for those characters, and I don't have enough to pull for like, two of them. Yeah, like I basically have like nothing. I think I have like another 7,000 of the paid stuff. So, yeah, us waifu collectors are in shambles right now. Make it easy, it's just a drawing. Three back to back waifu bands. Yeah, I really hope they kind of slow down on those and start releasing some like husbandos that way I can like save up or whatnot. But I can see how many eat a lot to have of Ting Yun. So she's only gonna be up to E3. So let's see. Ultimate increase 20 speed. Okay, so I think it's all seems to be good. I don't think any character in this game is like Bennett where you don't want to unlock a certain Eidolon. At least I haven't found out if there's any character like that right now. Jinke. Oh, wow, she's already E2. That's crazy. I didn't even know that. Oh, we're so close to E6. That's crazy. Man, I don't think she's in the shop right now. I think about buying the last E6, but I don't think she's in the shop. I think she was in the shop a while back. Yeah, right now it's Arlen and Asta. Okay, so Asta's maxed out. I did not know that. Yeah, I guess it's the way for her to come back. I have one more poll on the standard banner. I'm not sure how many polls in I'm in in this banner. I'll let it be a surprise if I get a five star or not. So let's run into it. So let's do our last summon in this video. Last multi summon. I don't think. Okay, so hey, maybe we get another chinka. But you're my E6. Who knows? I'll take it. All right, so into it but i kind of wish in this game there was like fake out animation yeah i feel like it'd be kind of cool oh we got sample sample was in jing lu's banner so we didn't get him in that banner but we got him here so i guess that makes up for not getting sample in that banner kind of wish it was chinka though man getting e6 chinka would be crazy i have sila so i don't really need her actually come in handy in the future when it comes to like mlc stuff like that where you like might need two quantum characters but yeah sample i think he's almost maxed out as well let me check really quick oh yeah sample is like e6 okay so that's crazy. You can't really have this many Sample. I think Sample is my first E6 character. No, no, I don't, I don't think he is. I think there's another character that was E6, but we got Sample, so that's great. So now when I pull Sample, I should get like 20 of the premium currency or whatever. Let's go check out Jing Liu really quick. That's there we go. So this is Jing Liu. I love how in her party art, she's not wearing a blindfold, but when she's like in the overworld, she's wearing a blindfold. I think you can't take it off. I just don't know how. Wait, look at this. This looks so cool. Like the sword and stuff like that. And like the sound of the sword. That's crazy. And also, let's look at her skill. The moon on the truth. Oh, so right there. When she uses skill, she takes off her blindfold. That's kind of cool. I wonder if it stays off or not. Oh, wow. This ice effect stays here forever. That's crazy. I'm so used to Genshin having the skill eventually go away. But in Honkai, it's a little bit different. Oh, never mind. I'm tripping. Her blindfold comes back when her skill ends. So it kind of stinks that you can't keep it off. I wish there was like a toggle button where you can take it off. But the design looks really cool. It reminds me a lot of Shunha. Even before there's like a Shunha XP. But anyway, kind of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys all pull Jing Lu if you guys are pulling for her. If you guys are saving other characters, hopefully I'll get them in the future. I know Topaz is coming out soon. I think she has recently had a appearance in the, the story quest. I haven't really gotten to play the story quest yet, so I don't really know too much about her character. Actually, I don't even know too much about Jing Liu either. I haven't really gone that far into the story quest, as you guys can see. <laughs> like, I'm still stuck in the second half of whatever this place is called. I think it's Lofu or something like that. Eventually, I'll finish the story, and then I'll be able to like, see all the characters and whatnot. But the next character I'm pulling for is Topaz, so that video should be coming out in like two weeks from now. In patch 1.4, the banner is actually shortened, so it's 17 days instead of 20 days, so I'm curious why they shortened this patch. 
Maybe because they want to like have the update be on like a certain day. Maybe the update is way too close to Genshin. Maybe it's too far apart from Genshin. So I don't know. Maybe they kind of want to fix that. But like I said before, my next time on the video will be on Topaz. So that video should be out like three weeks from now. So yeah, it's gonna be a while before a banner comes out. But hey, at least I have time to save, right? Because I'm pretty sure most of us kind of broke. So yeah, we kind of need this downtime. Yeah, anyway, kind of this video. If you guys enjoyed, if you have more kind of Star Wars summoning videos or Hitch Impact videos, definitely hit the like subscribe button. I'm planning to do more content on both games. I'm assuming most of you guys who play Hawkeye Star Rail probably play Genshin. That's all you guys know that I do Genshin content as well, but also if you guys are interested in my Honkai Star Rail videos, I try to upload them around like Fridays every week, sort of. Like, I don't know. There's times where I kind of switch between Genshin and Honkai every week, so I'm still trying to figure out when I want to upload Honkai Star Rail content, but in terms of Genshin content, I try to upload them every single Saturday. But this is before I kind of switch between the two when it comes to Honkai and Genshin. Yeah, it really depends on what's going on in each game. Some weeks might be like a dead week for one of the games, whereas the other game is kind of popping off, so... Yeah, it really depends. But anyways, how about this video? Hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.